Hi everyone, this is Nehlima, Aptive Trainer from Durga Soft. So today let's see one interesting topic which is number system comes under Aptive. We have already discussed about number series in reasoning. So this is a kind of number series uh, kind of uh, topic which comes under uh, Aptive. So this is also completely deals with the simplifications and uh, some kind of formula related problems. Mainly this is this completely deals with the simplification. So we, if we are perfect with the simplifications, we can go with the number systems, any kind of problems. So before starting with the number system, let us say some of the basic rules which we have already learned in our 10th class level. So let us see some basic rules. First, we will just discuss what are the numbers are there in uh, mathematics or uh, generally whatever the numbers we come across, right? So first, if we discuss about natural numbers, what are natural numbers? Everyone know natural number will be starting from 1, 1, 2, 3, so on is treated as natural numbers. What are uh, whole numbers? What are whole numbers? Whole numbers generally start with 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. That means natural number will start with 1 and whole number will start with 0. And now let us see what are, we are already know what are even numbers. Even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on. These are called as even numbers and let us see what is odd number. Odd numbers will start from 1. Odd number we can take uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. All these numbers are called as odd numbers. The numbers which are divisible by 2, we take it as even numbers. And the numbers uh, which are not divisible by 2, we treat them as odd numbers. Right? So, let us see. Actually, uh, we have one, we left one number which is 0. Actually, g 0 is not an even number nor it is an odd number. We have to keep that in mind, right? Next, uh, let us see what are integers. What are integers? Integers will start from minus. That means all the negative numbers plus 0 plus all the positive numbers will treat as integers like so on minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 so on will gives us an integer numbers so as we are done with the in numbers let's go with the uh, go for the prime numbers actually what is prime number prime number Prime number is the number which has only two factors. Two factors in the sense, for example, uh, if we take two, two has one as a factor and two as a factor. So, which has only two factors are called as, are treated as prime numbers. Example, we can take two, uh, three, four we can't take, five and seven and 9 we can't take, 10 we can't take, so on. So, we treat them as prime numbers. And there, and there are composite numbers. Composite numbers are the numbers which have more than two factors. That is, reverse of this prime numbers will be composite numbers. Composite numbers are uh, which will have more than two numbers as a factors. Like for example, if we see, we can take uh, 4, 4 will have 
वन एज अ फैक्टर फोर एज अ फैक्टर एंड ऑल्सो टू एज अ फैक्टर एंड इफ वी टेक सिक्स सिक्स हैज वन थ्री एंड सिक्स एंड एट एट ऑल्सो हैज मोर देन थ्री फैक्टर्स एंड नाइन टेन सो ऑन दिस आर ट्रीटेड एज कॉम्पोजिट नंबर्स सो यू शुड हैव एन आइडिया वॉट आर दिस नंबर्स एंड हाउ वी जनरली स्टार्ट विथ सो इफ यू सी नेशनल नंबर्स विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन एंड इट हैज इट हैज नो एंड एंड होल नंबर्स विल स्टार्ट विथ जीरो जीरो वन टू थ्री सो ऑन एंड इवन नंबर्स विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टू फोर सिक्स एट विच आर डिविजिबल ऑफ टू एंड ऑड नंबर्स यू नो वन थ्री फाइव सेवन आर कॉल्ड एज ऑड नंबर्स एंड इंटीजर्स विच इंक्लूड नेगेटिव नंबर्स जीरो एंड ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव नंबर द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ नेगेटिव जीरो पॉजिटिव नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड एज इंटीजर्स एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट प्राइम नंबर्स द नंबर विच हैज ओनली टू फैक्टर्स देन दैट नंबर्स आर ट्रीटेड एज प्राइम नंबर्स एंड कॉम्पोजिट नंबर इफ वी ट्रीट गो फॉर कॉम्पोजिट नंबर इट इज जस्ट एन ऑपोजिट ऑफ प्राइम नंबर दैट मीन्स द नंबर विच इज हैविंग मोर देन टू फैक्टर्स आर ट्रीटेड एज कॉम्पोजिट नंबर्स और यू कैन कॉल इट एज कॉन्सिगेटिव प्राइम नंबर राइट सो दीज आर द नंबर्स इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस सम ऑफ द बिट्स यू कैन ईजीली Uh, make it. That means only by seeing the question you can give the answer. Like for example, in some examinations they will give us some numbers, and he'll ask what is the prime number, and he'll give us some numbers, and he'll ask for what are the what is not a prime number. Find out the number which the, which is not a prime number. So like this we will get a questions from this kind of numbers. So please do remember this kind of questions. So let's move to the next one. we have another uh, numbers fraction or we can call it as decimal or we can call it as um, rational fraction decimal rational these are other type of numbers the numbers which are in p by q form are treated as fraction numbers or decimal numbers or rational numbers right in this fraction numbers we have different type of numbers let's see what are different type of numbers what is one is proper fraction second one improper fraction and third will be mixed fraction in fractions we get different kind of uh, fractions proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fractions let's see what are this proper fractions and improper fractions proper fraction is like wherever you have a number like for example 2 by 3 it is a proper fraction because the numerator is less than the denominator wherever we get numerator less than the denominator that fraction we call it as proper fraction right and the example for improper fraction whatever what is about improper fraction is like the number where the numerator is higher than the denominator that means numerator is bigger than the denominator like for example you can take this reverse right and coming to the mixed fraction mixed fraction in the sense it's a combination of proper fraction and the natural number it's a combination of proper fraction and the natural number right so if you want to go for an example uh, you can take 2 plus it's a combination of uh, natural number and 
So it's a combination of natural number plus proper fraction. 2 plus 2 by 3 you can take or you can take any other example. Just for, for your understanding, we have taken some examples. So in fractions, we have three different type of fractions, proper fraction, improper fraction and mixed fraction, right? So what is proper fraction is, then wherever the number which is having numerator is less than the denominator, that we take it as a proper fraction. And improper fraction, wherever the Denomin uh, numerator is greater than the denominator then we treat it as improper fraction and talking about mixed fraction it is a combination of natural number plus proper fraction right so this these are some examples let's move to the next thing uh, as we have already seen 2 by 2 multiplication in our number system a number series even here we are again discussing about this 2 by 2 multiplication if 2 by 2 in the sense you just remember this simple diagram we will start from right to left so if we start from right, right to left just start with 1 here it is 6 into 3 it is giving me 18 right 8 here keep 1 in mind and next go with, go for with this cross cross in the sense this into this plus this into this that means 6 into 2 12 plus 4 into 3 12 12 plus 12 it is 24 plus 1 25 write 5 here keep 2 in mind again and we are done with this and last one last one will be 2 in 4 into 2 4 to the 8 plus 2 it is 10 this is how you can go with the 2 by 2 multiplication for any kind of different numbers right And mainly uh, this point which we are discussing now is important to, in number system and also in number series. All the squ uh, squares from 1 to 30 we should be perfect with the squares and 1 to 20 we should be perfect with the cubes. Only by knowing that squares and cubes even in number system and also in number series we can easily evaluate some problems. right? So let's move to the next one. Let's see some important rules in divisibility rules. So if you want to check whether the number is div uh, divisible by 2, if you want to check whole number is divisible by 2, that means complete number is divisible by 2 or not, then just check unit digit must be 0 or even. If you have unit digit is 0 or even, then obviously the number is divisible by 2. And coming to the divisibility rule for 3, if the number is uh, divisible by, uh, here I have written dr, dr means distal root. About this distal root we will clearly discuss later. Now just keep in mind that distal root is divisible by 3. If distal, uh, if the number's distal root is divisible by 3, then the whole number is divisible by 3. Next for 4. Last two digits must be 0 or divisible by 4. Last two digits must be 0 or it should divisible by 4. And for 5, you know, unit digit must be 0 or 5, then the whole number will get divisible by 5. And for 6, if the given number is divisible by 2 or 2 and 3, then the whole number will obviously divisible by 6, right? But why we have taken 2 and 3 is factors of 6 is 2 and 3. That's the reason we have taken 2 and 3. And for 9, uh, the if you have if the for a given number the distal root is divisible by 9, then the whole number will get divisible by 9. Here I have skipped 7. Divisibility rule for 7. We will uh, take it we will discuss later why uh, there is a special case for divisibility rule for 7 we will discuss later so for divisibility rule for 10 you already know last unit is it must be 0 then it is divisible by 10 and for divisibility for 12 as we have a factor for 12 4 and 3 if the given number is divisible by 4 and 3 then the whole number will be divisible by 12 there is a special case for divisibility rule for 7 and 13. We will discuss next about that special cases. Now you can just make a note of this, all the divisibility rules. Later we will discuss about this distal root. 
this distal root plays an important role in this number system so we will particularly discuss about this distal root next so we will go for the next thing